everyone. It's Tracy from Mindless Crafting. And hold on one moment. I need to mount my phone. <laughs> and Bill is here. I am. You didn't give me anything mounted on here. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> I pressed live and it was like, oh, my phone is not mounted. So, sorry to make y'all feel like you're on a roller coaster like, where ride. Where in the world okay. are we at? And what is Tracy doing? What am I doing? Okay, and why That's do I have all I'm these saying. boxes up here? Like, what is she doing with all these boxes? Okay. How are y'all doing today? Sorry we're a little late. We got the dog and the cat in the backyard. Yeah, yes. the dog and the cat. Right. Strawberry and Natasha are out in the backyard together. So I, we have no idea what's going on. All we know is that there's barking happening. So I think Bill's gonna have to go down and check. <laughs> Natasha can defend herself really well. And they seem to be getting along pretty good, but we hear barking. So other than that, right, happy yeah. Thursday. To our 20 people. Jill Powell, you said, are, are you recycling? <laughs> ah, you know I'm keeping these boxes, right? These boxes do not go away, but I need some ideas, y'all. I need some ideas. What do y'all what do y'all do with y'all with your boxes? What do y'all do with your boxes? Oh yeah, we have to do the drawing today too. We got the giveaway. Um we got the giveaway coming up. Also, this live, we, we're giving away uh, the three, three of our crafters. We're giving some happy mail, some crafty happy mail boxes, okay, filled with goodies. Not these boxes. <laughs> uh, cutouts. Some of y'all use for cutouts, tags for journals. Uh... Oh, I'm glad Rhonda Higgins. Rhonda Higgins says she got her um her baby stamp set. Yeah, we the the uh new one, the bundle of joy stamp set is in the store now. So you, if you have not gotten yours, um go get it. You add yours to projects. Yes, I think I love making embellishments uh, with these boxes. They're great for making embellishments. So we may end up cutting up one today just to make some really cute spring embellishments. I think that would be fun. Barbara Lank. Barbara Lank, you just had a baby, so you really need to get that stamp set. Oh, you're stamping out onesies right now, Hot Mess Crafting. I can't wait to see what you do. You use them to, to back, put backing on the embellishments. Cindy, good idea. Right, like you can cut these out and then you can stick them on the back of something, right? On the back of like your cardstock to give it a more sturdier backing. You said you can't hear me? Can everyone hear me? I don't want to I don't want to be yelling because I well I don't get loud. Bill does, okay. I don't get loud either. I talk so softly. Jump everyone says they can hear us. So who who someone's can't saying hear? they can't hear? Turn your audio up. Is Margie on here? Someone said Margie, hey, hey. Margie, are Is you she on here? On here? Everyone else says they hear us good. Look, Crystal, you better get out. And it's supposed to be 80 degrees out here in Georgia. Crystal is like close, lives close by Crystal us. Crystal be queen. Crystal be queen lives close by us. It's supposed to be 80 degrees today. Beautiful weather. Okay. Bill, do you have the other phone for the drawing? Oh, are you ready? Let me know when you're ready. It's charging right now. I'm oh, not okay. Get okay. It until we pull. Yeah, we're getting ready to pull. You ready now? We need well, to do it. I have people on yet. Ah! 
So give them Okay, so if you were on with us for Mindless Crafting at Midnight last Friday into Saturday morning, so much fun, y'all. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. And we ended up releasing, um, we released that uh, Bundle of Joy stamp set that night too. <laughs> Look, Mug Media said, oh no, you're, <laughs> you're giving me another reason to collect stuff. Don't worry, Look. your husband will throw it out for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. Okay. Oh, Crystal B. Queen says, I have to teach online today. But I will go out to the park afterwards. Oh. I know, just to get some sunshine, right? Yeah, 80 degrees, y'all. Well, here anyway. Has anyone, uh, does anyone know how Diane Solomon is doing? Linda Veal said that. Huh. I didn't know. Uh, hmm. Well, we keep her in our prayers. Barbara says Jaden is listening to you and smiling and kicking his feet. Hey, Jaden. If you're crafty and you know it, grab your scissors. <laughs> if no, don't grab your scissors you're, at that age, okay? Well, well your, your child safety scissors. <laughs> How's that, Bill? Okay. If you're crafty and you know it, then your craft room really shows it. <laughs> Rhonda Higgins says, I'm just making this up. If you're crafty and you know it, grab your scissors and your glue and your glossy accents and some boxes. Don't throw them away. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Rhonda Higgins says, plus I see there's a new butterfly stamp in the mine is grabbing store. I'm trying to resist, but I'm thinking I gotta have it. Which new butterfly stamp? I don't know. It must be the, no, it's the same. It might be the same one. But yeah, let's make something. He's giggling. Oh. He's such a cutie. Hi, Bertha. Just seeing who's here. Okay, so yeah, so ideas. Look at this, y'all. So I know some people also, you can make covers out of these for like your journals or your junk journals and things like that, right? Some people like, um, no, I did not turn my ringer off on this phone. You're fired, okay? Mm, mm, mm. Fire me, y'all. Fire me. Let me, I got to get this ringer off. Amanda Dupree says, I went on a die cutting spree with recycled boxes one day. It looks like, looks vintage if you ink the edges. Mm, that's true. Look at this. So, yeah, you can like do just about whatever. <laughs> let's see if i can get this make sure that this is si i thought it was silenced this it's is just on vibrate that's what it was okay it's silenced now dog oh stop biting our stuff you, you got your bone bite your own stuff my dog if y'all hear that munching okay <laughs> it is crazy in the craft room the dog is over here eating on her favorite little chewing yeah, her, your her chair. plastic bone. Oh, she moved to my chair? I had to make her go back. I don't to know what it is about the wheels on my chair. I don't know. No, it's the iron bar connected to the wheel. Oh, Valerie. She says the first time she's managed to see us live. I normally watch them after, but think you two are great and love watching you make well, your cards. Valerie Thank you so Beach. Much. Where do you store your boxes? Everywhere. <laughs> Tina, everywhere, okay? Some are in the craft room. Mm -hmm. Most are not. Tucked away. Some are, uh, are downstairs in the pantry, too. Some are... <laughs> if they get anywhere near my Some area, are... they go in the garbage can. Some are being hidden from Bill. That's what you think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna do the drawing from the before we get started. Let's just try to get the phone now. We're gonna do the drawing for the um for the mindless crafting midnight for the mindless 
crafting at midnight uh, that we did last week. Hilarious, y'all. If you did not watch, you got to watch the rewatch. If you want to just crack up laughing, we had a good time. <sighs> Amanda Dupree, right. She said, I had to stop with the boxes and the junk mail. It became a problem. <sighs> I have a problem and I'm not afraid to admit it. Bertha, you have some under the sink. Shh, we won't tell Bertha. I'm telling everybody. <laughs> we won't tell. Don't blame it on me, okay? There's husbands everywhere hating on me right now, okay? Exactly. So the question was for the contest, simple, simple, easy, right? We're giving away three boxes of um, Happy Mail. I mean, these boxes are jam-packed. The question was, what is your favorite childhood? He did not turn on the. You can't hear it. He turned on the. My husband decides. <laughs> they can't hear anything. Okay. My husband decides to do laundry during the live stream, y'all. He, he, he doesn't do I'm laundry. Being helpful. He doesn't do laundry. He rarely does laundry. I do. But the laundry. one hour <laughs> or two <laughs> that we're on, he decides he's gonna do laundry off. <laughs> no other time is he gonna do laundry well, except right our next to it, kinda. Well, there you go. <laughs> so the question was the for question the, was for the drawing was Okay, you look it up real quick. What was your favorite children's song? Children's song. When you were a kid, what was your favorite children's song? <laughs> Look, Vicki Jensen said, are you bored, Bill? Right, do some laundry. If you're bored, do some laundry. Mm. So I'm gonna do some embellishments. Not a not all not right. all of these boxes because we we have an appointment today, y'all. Pray for us with our accountant. Taxes are due. Business taxes are due. Okay. I gotta find the uh... March what fifteenth, sixteenth. We're gonna be in way ahead. So y'all pray for us. So that's why I'm crazy now, but I'm going to pull it all together. Everything's going to be all right. Got to get those taxes done. Got to get those taxes done. So that's what we'll be this afternoon. So, um, yeah. So we're going to pull up the, um, the random well, YouTube it. picker. No, you, Cindy, you didn't have to comment while live. You commented after the live went off in, under that video because that's we're using the um, YouTube picker, which helps uh, draw names. So if you commented below that video, that mindless crafting at midnight video from last Friday, Saturday, um, then, then you already entered in the drawing. Jill, yes. Breathe in and breathe out. I have boxes stored in cereal boxes. Look, that's what I had to bring these up from downstairs before Bill threw this. Well, I don't think my husband has thrown out any of my boxes. But not recently. Not recently. Well, that's because they <laughs> stay away from my area. That's why I have to. But I, I do. You know, it's becoming a problem because I need some of that closet right. closet space. I'm ready whenever you're ready. I need some of that closet space. So no. So we're gonna pick three names. Let me put these to the side. That's how wars are started. <laughs> Person is happy and content on their part of the property. Oh, Diane, so 
Okay, someone said, Diane, so glad your surgery went well. Diane's on here? Yes. Diane! We're so happy that we went just, well. People were asking Look, about Look, Amanda, you. get off the live, Amanda. Amanda said, bonfire. <laughs> exactly. Uh, don't boxes attract bugs? Well... I don't see any. Not so far in the yes, places that I have. Yes, called box collectors. Mm. Right. You have to, said, you have to comment White right says, after the live. Tracy, you will always have more boxes if you continue to eat cereal. Rebecca, I Tracy know. used to get the cereal box and just pour the cereal out and put it in something else. I did not do that, babe. She bought these plastic things. She tried to act like she was storing stuff, but really she bought it so she could get the boxes quicker. Really? You could use the boxes in the garden to, to catch snails? That sounds like really... <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to say it, okay? That's... Right, I always get more boxes. Now, I did do I a... I look like forward a, to catching some snails, okay? I did do a major purge, though. So, you remember, Bill? On the bottles. I don't remember that at all. The bottles. I had to do a purge on... <laughs> You were, like a you were happy when I did the purge on the bottles. <laughs> he was super happy. The man, the man never rushed to throw out stuff. Now he all of a sudden, when I said, Bill, I think I'm going to throw away the bottles, and he was right there. Before finish the sentence, I had one of those dumpsters that the, the, <laughs> the house people have in front of the houses, and I was throwing stuff out. The cat loves boxes. Look, we have all of those boxes from when we get, we, we have like deliveries, which is like, a lot of times per week um, for the store. So the cat loves, 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 loves boxes. The dog is scared of boxes. Someone said great news, Rhonda Higgins. What, what, I need what, to hear Rhonda what that. Rhonda Higgins, what happened? Let me go look. You know what? I brought the Higgins. <laughs> I, saw, I, I see Rhonda's. I'm on, I, I, I stopped eating donuts for as long as I can. I had to put that disclaimer in there. <laughs> okay, let's see. I know I had to I had to I had to get rid of my bottles because the bottles were it was just so much. Oh, okay. But I still have some. I still have some. Okay, this is this is what Rhonda Higgins says, Tracy. She says, My grandson Creed is doing better. He's still in the hospital and hoping to get released soon. Thank oh, you guys for nice. your prayers. Oh my goodness. Great there you news. Go, Great news. Sarah Johnson. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> exactly. Bill. Bill is over here. So, Bill, we're gonna make some um spring embellishments. Gotta get out one of my flower. Uh so you have it pulled up for the three for the drawing. Already. We're gonna go do that now. And um, this is the random YouTube picker. It's excellent, like, if you want to do drawings or giveaways on your channel. There you go. Um, let's see, what do I oh, do Oh, you, you get the YouTube comments first. Click that. Okay, so get the comments. Okay. So this is the, the picker here. Yeah, yeah, scroll down so you can see the button once it stops. Okay. So it's pulling in the comments from that particular video, that Mindless Crafting at Midnight video. There's a lot of comments right. on there. Okay. Okay, there were 91 comments. Okay, so right here is where I start, right, babe? That's it. All right, are y'all ready? Well, let me get a pen to write down. Yes. So okay, one, so if, if your name is picked, hopefully it'll say what your favorite I'm gonna go children's look song I'm gonna was. I'm going to look at it. Hopefully it will say that. Because I'm going to show sure look it up. You know, I don't think anyone picked the AB. I was looking at some of y'all comments. I don't know if anyone picked the ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W okay. X All right. Y and uh, Z. I gotta finish now. Okay, there you go. Now I know my ABCs. 
Next time, won't your bones? you sing with me? Okay, so wait a minute. How many? Oh, boy. Okay, you ready? We got the animals, y'all. All right, we're ready. How many I'm going to press start right. Three, babe. Three okay, winners. Three. All right. Okay, if you win, you need to contact us at admin at mindlesscrafting.com so that we know where we need your address. So and you got to send it to us privately. Your, your name, name and the right. screen name so we know who you are. Right. So give us your screen name on YouTube. I mean, if you have a normal name like Sonia Creel or something, we can easily find you. But right. your name is something like Scooby-Doo at Midnight. <laughs> hey, let's mail this to Scooby-Doo at Midnight. We, we don't know who you are then. You right. mail it, you know. Okay. We're going to hit the start. <laughs> okay. You did it? Yep. Oh, he's doing something. <gasps> Joy Overstreet. Joy Overstreet. I got to go look oh. and see. Uh, hold up. Let me see what Joy said. She said, my favorite children's song is Kookaburra. Oh. I'm, Kookaburra lives on the old gum tree. Mary, Mary, something is the... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Laugh. Kookaburra laugh, Kookaburra gay, your life must be. I have never heard this. Bill, song. you have had to have heard that song. I'm so happy that I have never, <laughs> ever heard that Something song. Something like that. No, just I love that just scene. Kidding. Everybody's saying they love that just song. Kidding. It sounds like it would have been fun when I was... Like See, they months. remember that song. Okay, like let's let's go ahead and pick the next... We have Joy's... Um, 62 years We have old. Joy's address. Okay. Too. We have Joyce address. All right. Now, so, next. Uh, how do I get to the next one? Oh, pick another winner. Just Talking with Crystal. Her favorite children's song. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a All dream. All right, just talking with Crystal. Bill, you're supposed to chime in. I was so busy writing. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down no, the stream. No, you're supposed to say row, row. Oh, oh okay. my goodness. What go kind ahead. of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Row, row, row your boat. What is that, Bill? You sound you like you got a so frog. Low. You sound like you, you got a frog. I'm going to sing it. I feel like Barry White's grandson. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you sing it in a, in, a, in a register that is either too low or too high. Because you go, you see, watch this, sing it again. I'm trying this, to sing high on it. Go ahead. Now, now y'all know what, ha what I told y'all the story about when we created our, <laughs> our first children's album, right? Well, <laughs> and Bill just... He was hard on me, y'all. Okay, go ahead. Sing He's again. talking about I'm, you're not in the right register. Well, if you go row, row. Okay, go ahead. I have to. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. There you go. Hi, Donna Saturday. Donna, how you doing? We're picking names for the drawing. Okay, here's the next one. Congratulations, just talking with Crystal. Ooh. Yeah, I made it through Luna Jan somehow. Grandelia ba Baladrin. Don't be messing with Grandelia's name. Baladrin. Baladrin. Grindelia. My favorite children's song is You Are My Sunshine. Oh my goodness, that's a favorite of mine too. Belandrin. Could be Bella. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. How much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. There's Joy Oak. Oh, that's Sheila over three. I thought it was. I think let's do one more. One more? Let's do one more. Okay, one more. 
One more. Well, I didn't know we were gonna do this, huh? I always do one more for some reason. Oh, thank you. Don, I appreciate I appreciate that. We're gonna do one more. We're doing number four. Oh, Jean Un no. Jean, sorry. Unra. Unra. U N R U H. Jean Unra. If I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize. Yeah, you might she said, My favorite children's song was Wheels on the Bus. We would sing it with the hand motions. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the day. Look at this. This is what she says. She says, my young granddaughter was able to do the hand motions before she could speak. Children are listening. Children will learn the most. That's why people so used to ask me, why do you have... Why do you, why do you um, have like toddler and baby story times at the library? Even though it was musical, you could still see the kids doing the hand motions. You know, I read a report. It yep. said if you play both jazz and classical to your children during the pregnancy, they tend to be much better at math, uh, spatial recognition, um, languages, and that sort of thing like that. Yeah, so look, we used to do the did y'all do this part in the um we would do the 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 babies on the bus go wah 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 the kids used to love that wah 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 and then we do the crying motion like rubbing our eyes the children on the bus go wah 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 you can make up anything and the song will go on for for like ever, okay? Linda Huffman says, my most unfavorite song is the Baby Shark. No wire hangers feeling with that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So congratulations to the winners. Let's say them again. It's please, Joy Overstreet. Please email us. Just talking with Crystal, Gwendelia Belandrin, and Jean Unruh. Okay, I'm going to put that, that in there. Winners. Well, we put this up here. We're going to get a thousand. You told them to email us at admin at mindlesscrafting.com. Guillotine! It's her birthday tomorrow. Mommy on the bus said, what? <laughs> sit your butt down. Sit your butt down. <laughs> yeah, that song could go on forever and ever, okay? And the kids just didn't want to stop. So when the kids would do wow, 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 I would say the mommy's on the bus. Say shh, 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 shh. Putting my finger up to my mouth, and then the kids would start to quiet down. <laughs> <sighs> Rebecca White, yes, it's it's. She said, Rebecca White said, Tracy, it's your birthday month and mine too. Yes, my birthday is March 11. I forgot. So happy birthday! Linda Huffman's birthday is Tuesday. To all of the March. That is my age. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Bill, you'll be 63 to, uh, in May. I will. Yep. Looking good. You look good, babe. You're not even a wrinkle in sight, okay? This man right here. You know? Everybody's saying happy birthday to Guillotine. Tomorrow's her birthday. Happy birthday, Gaetane. Yeah, mine is Friday, next Friday. Sarah Johnson says, what's your birthday <sighs> wish? What's my birthday wish? Hmm. My birthday wish is to just wake up and, and be healthy. You know what I'm saying? 
seriously. I mean, like material, like I don't like, I don't know. It, it's always, you know, I think as you get older, it just becomes something that's like more internal to, to be a better, a better me. Um, to be a peaceful me, you know? Bill's favorite color is blue also. His favorite color oh, is yeah. blue. There's no question. Look, mine this, is this, this stovetop savory herbs. Okay. What's my birthday wish? I don't know. Just peace, love, and happiness. You know, like... Love and happiness. Yep. You know that song, you show your age. Okay. Oh. Kaden's birthday is on the 13th, Tracy. Sure. Kaden Link. Oh, that's right. Uh oh, Terry Thompson says her niece turns 11 today. Happy birthday, Sophia. Hi, Luna Jen. How are you? Luna Jean. My favorite color is blue. Bill used to tell me my favorite color was black, which I do. He was like, uh, every everything you buy is black. And I was like, no, it isn't. And then I, <laughs> I looked at, at my closet. closet and I was like, why is everything, why black? Is everything black? I don't know. Black goes she with everything. She might get white in there, black and white, but mostly yeah. black. Some words or something. Flowers. Peace, love, happiness, and, and health. Health is like a huge thing. Like when I... When people say, what do you want for your birthday? Um, Love and happiness. Basically, that's it. What is my birthday wish? My wish is to, to continue to inspire, other, inspire others because I feel, I feel good when I can inspire or motivate someone else to follow their dreams, you know? Or something that I did, a craft that I did maybe that inspired them or something I posted. If you notice when I post Facebook, it's it's pure joy. It's out of joy, love, happiness. I don't do all of the drama. You know, there's, there's enough people to do that. <laughs> Sarah Johnson says, I'm at the age right now where I'm just glad to wake up and see life. Again. Yeah, I went for a walk yesterday and I was so happy to just be able to pull put one foot in front of the other and soon y'all be wa you'll be walking out the door y'all know where that <laughs> I was just happy to just be able to breathe fresh air you know what I'm saying you know those are the kind of things you take for granted until and I'm I'm happy hits. that I don't have to take any med medication other than me having to do like some eye drops for dry eyes. I don't have to take any medication. Like I'll take like um, vitamins and stuff like that. But to me, you know, 58, getting ready to be 59, I don't have to take any medication. That's like huge. Well, you know? Creative Cindy says, I'm going to be real with you. The first thing I thought of was a scanning cut, okay? Oh, did <laughs> Then it was for my dog to be done with this shedding season. And the third is spellbinder, spellbinders. Too. I mean, what what is y'all birthday wish? Throw some stuff up there, y'all. It's a birthday. When's your birthday? This look, this stovetop savory herbs, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, good. The savory herb. And I think stuffing. When I think of stuffing, I think of like Thanksgiving. But when I, I think to... of you. <laughs> I think of stuffing. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you think of me when you and all of its food. flavors. Come here, dog. Thank you, Brooklyn 8120. Ooh, Luna. She looks. She's Luna. like. She's like. Mine is um go on a shopping spree at a craft store. LOL. Hey, look, Luna. Go ahead to. Let your first stop be mindlesscrafting.com then. Luna's, Luna's <laughs> husband. Go ahead and stop his, there, Luna. His birthday wish is to keep Luna from going on a shopping trip <laughs> in a craft store. Okay? <sighs> Bill, you like coming to the craft store, right? As long as I can stay in the car. You know? <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, I'm going because I don't have my phone and watch YouTube. You can say long as you want. Look, you've gone inside with me. You know what? To keep it honest, if we go to a place like uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Hobby Lobby is so big. Oh, my goodness. I can find something in there I like. Okay? Yeah, you can. Unlike, let's say, Dollar Tree. You can't find anything you like in Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree well, it's Dollar just... Twenty Five Tree now. Okay, so. Well, here's the thing. Dollar, it's the three dollar tree. I'm gonna tell you my my craft store. My craft store is like uh, Home Depot mm. or Lowe's. Well, you can go in there and, and you'll find yourself saying, "Don't be looking at me." I, I you find yourself saying, "I can, I learn can build a shed." I can, <laughs> you I, I, you I find can. yourself saying, "I can learn carpentry." Ain't never picked up a hammer and a nail. You, you <laughs> see that stuff? You like? I could do this. I, I could do it. I could paint the outside of the house. And then you talk to someone or a pro, and they make it sound so easy. You're like, I can do this. I remember one time I came home with a bunch of tools and stuff, and Tracy was like, what are you going to do with that? I said, I need to upgrade my crib, my tool supply, because I have some things coming up. That was about Look, three years ago. They're oh, still in there. I, 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 I can build my wife a, an entire craft shed, a she shed. And lock her in there. Mm. Look, my <laughs> look, my she shed is gonna be so kitted out that you don't even have to lock me in. I'm not coming out, okay? <sighs> look, Rhonda Higgins. Look at Rhonda Higgins' birthday wish. My birthday wish is to get a kidney transplant this year. Ooh. Please, everyone, stay healthy. Listen to your doctors. Kidney disease is no joke. But God is good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That's why when people asking like the material, that's fine. Get, I I will gladly accept gifts. However, for me, you know, so many people have so many ailments and so many health challenges that just for me to be able to wake up healthy fairly strong. I mean, I could walk like miles, okay? Even to just get my little 7,000 steps a day. That's a blessing because a lot of people can't do that. And so I'm praying for you, Rhonda. You got several of them. I'm going to read them backwards here. Okay, go ahead. Linda Huffman says, my birthday wish is the same as my Christmas. Christmas wish, St. Patty's Day wish, Kwanzaa wish, and any other wish. I'm wishing for my soulmate to come. There you go. You know what, Paul? You know, your soulmate is there and you're not even looking at us. Mm. Sometimes we'll want someone, we'll, we'll try to stuff them in a particular image. It could be the guy right across the street who's been, who you, you looked upon as an irritant for years. <laughs> He's an irritant. <laughs> He's the one. Okay, let's see. Uh, Liz Wilson says, <clears throat> my birthday wishes for anyone to ask what they can do for me all day and I do nothing but enjoy their kindness. Just to enjoy it, yeah. That's a happy birthday. Let me get my favorite meal, okay. I've been doing really good, though, with the healthy eating. Haven't I, Bill? This is terrible. You know what? Okay, Dev C is saying, she's mentioning that my brother has applied to get on the transplant limp transplant list himself it apparently it takes years to do so mm. and you know my things if it takes years i mean my goodness i mean how long do you really have once that would be so frightening you just that's why so we got we got to so send up prayers you got on that list. we got to send up prayers you okay know, yes lord or just complete healing yes so you don't even need the mess. Rhonda Higgins says, I've been on dialysis for a year, but thank God I'm otherwise healthy and still able to work part-time from home, apparently. Raquel Fell says, I just wish for the Lord to let me live long enough to do as much crafting as I have in the time that I have left. Crafting is like... I I don't know what I'd do without the crafting, you know? I know, Goobs. Look, they're both... Both dogs are, like, underneath the table right By now. By Tracy. Both of them. They fight for her 
space. Right. So they're like, every animal, whatever room I go into. All three of them. All three of them. Both the dogs like and whatever. the cat. I go into the kitchen. There they are. If I, at night, if I'm going upstairs, yeah, they're like right. all three. The cat just zooms past everyone and it's like, let me go find my little my little place near the window. Yeah, it's Overlooking just... everybody, perched high up on some stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, she is just... She is just too much. Okay, so I'm going to look for the stamp set that I'm doing today um, for spring. This is going to be the spring one, so Although I could use that too. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We can do some spring embellishments. Hey. Cinnamon. Stop Cinnamon it. So Should mean. we all stop it? Cinnamon Stop. just wants to bite strawberry just for the heck of it. Cinnamon has to get used to him being in Look, the Look, the, the dog has That's been here for is. months. <laughs> That's no excuse anymore. <laughs> Look. The... <laughs> That's like catching an old man who's like 95 years old. We're doing the same thing for the past 55 years. And we still say, well, you know, he just got to get used to. No, he's he don't. trying to get used to, to being here. He right? just has to stop, Okay. And strawberry's really good about not eating my paper, which is good. She had to learn, okay. Oh, Carmina says my son has proposed to his girlfriend this past weekend. Oh, She's we, so happy. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that something else? Congratulations. So your life just keeps moving on. The we, next generation is coming into focus. I know. Oh. Y'all know that Chelsea got engaged too. Oh, spring. That, I wonder if this is the butterfly stamp set you were talking about, but I don't see. I'm looking for my flowers. Where's my old stamp set. I have dogs now. They both what happened? Food. Cinnamon got up to come to me, and she, Strawberry saw that Cinnamon was coming to me and quickly ran and got directly <laughs> under my feet to head him off. Yeah, Strawberry's the uh, attention stealer. She don't want no lie. Now she's trying to go back to you. If since, Ariel comes since he's in the house, back. that's it. Cinnamon knows what he's doing. Strawberry got some scratches. The cat scratched Strawberry so bad the other day, the claws got stuck in his face and pulled, was pulling the face up. Yeah, talk about. And I don't like to put like alcohol on on the dog's face you know like so maybe some peroxide or something to help heal up look at the strawberry trying to take cinnamon's bed we got a whole a whole yeah. everything Come going on. on under here Let's see the one stamp set that i'm looking for i cannot find it hi mumbly bird Hey, monthly. Okay, so that's the one that I wanted. That's the one I want. Sonny Chris said, we got all these engagements because we can't get outside. <laughs> Sonny uh, Creel, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> Da, 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 da. You can't hurry love. So you're making no, something, right? You just have Does my husband not listen? You heard what he just said? <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear what he just said? Look, I'm preoccupied with the animals, okay? Did you hear what my husband just said? <laughs> he said you're making something. No, I'm just here, just you know. <laughs> you know what mumbly bird i had to add that to my list i was like oh i was thinking of wedding um a wedding stamp set only because once chelsea got engaged i was like oh a nice wedding set would be nice with a cake and a bride and groom on it and 
all kind of stuff. All kind of other little sentiments and stuff on it. I think we could do something yeah, so really pretty with that. All of Amazon. Huh? Because you know, once you when it happens, you're just ready to. Oh, with the stamp set. With Look, anything. I've already started putting a Pinterest. Um, <laughs> I was looking on Pinterest. Looking on Pinterest, just seeing, you know, it's whatever they want. Okay, so I'm doing three embellishments. I need like a little bit of everything on this. Use my cereal boxes. Please look at it. That is just a little baby. The dog is back here getting all the little lovings from Bill right now. This, um, I'm going to ask what the name of this was. This stamp set is called Beauty and Everything. Because sometimes that's what you got to do. You know, even in ugly situations, you have to. As hard as it may be sometimes in ugly situations, you just, you just try to, to make beauty out of it. You know, you still have the power to find the beauty in it as hard as it can be sometimes. Oh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm just stamping out stuff that would be cute. for my spring embellishments. Spring is here, spring is here. It's 80 degrees today, so that's why I feel like, I feel like spring is here. Spring is in the air. Janice Turner. Hmm? Janice says, am I talking to myself? Oh, here's Janice. Oh, what happened? Janice says, my birthday is March 20th, and really, I don't want nothing more than just be happier. I've been so alone. I have no friends here to talk to. I'm literally alone. My family don't have anything to do with me. Well, sometimes, Janice, we, we don't see the comments, so it's not that we that we don't want to read them. Sometimes we don't see. Yeah, if you can see what we see, yeah, they go by really fast, so we're but not I'm ignoring glad I saw you. This, though. Yeah. But well, we're family glad, here. Yeah, we're glad, here as a family. We're glad that you have us as your family. I went overboard at stamping out <laughs> butterflies, but it's okay. And we actually have this. This stamp set is also a digital. This uh, beauty and everything. Eighty degrees today, uh, and going to be in the in the accountants. Uh, office doing taxes. Okay. Mommy Berg is like you, Tracy. She says, I have a bad, bad case of one more thing itis. <laughs> so your happy mailbox is just a bit delayed. Sonia Creel says, we love the leaves. Leaves. Is it possible to use the leaves in a circle for a flower? This you know, is your can... daughter's question. Yeah, you could do that too. Yeah, you sure can. No. Okay, so let's get some of these embellishments ready. Ronnie Higgins says, I've never seen that butterfly stamp set. It's not new. No, it's been what? around for them. It's been around for this. This may have been a, one years. of our first. We released this in the first year it's about three of years. our business. Yeah. So this is our fourth year in business. Yeah, we released this like the first year. This was one of our beginning stamp sets. I'm working on a digital stamp set now. So hopefully that'll be done very soon. Like that's for what's that for, Chris? That's for uh, the St. Oh, Patrick's the one Day. Yeah, digital. The nice thing about making your embellishments is that you can use whatever shape shapes that you have. You know. So if I wanted to like do round cornered shapes, I can. No, stop, 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 stop. Move, move. Go sit, sit. 
um, yeah, if I want to do rounded edges on this, I can. If I want to, if you want to take one of your um, blocks, right, your stamping blocks, this one right here has such a good um, shape to it, right? Or you can leave it square if you want. Rectangular, I should say. I can cut off these edges here, and it could be tag shape, or I can cut all of the edges off. Right. You know what I didn't bring in here, Phil? My uh, phone charger. Mm. Just in case. Okay. So we got that. We got that one. And then one of my favorite shapes is this right here to make embellishments. I love making my embellishments using that shape. So yeah, you just start... Just start creating, you know? This is a great thing to do like when you're watching TV and you just want to have your little tray. You want to have your tray full of stuff and just start cutting stuff out. Kathy's random acts of Kathy Champion is on here. Kathy, Kathy look, we Kathy, were just talking about you. Kathy has the same birthday as me. What? March eleventh. Kathy, seriously, we were literally just talking about, about you. I think yesterday. Yeah, I'll, wear, I'll ball as well with you. Yes, you and your hubby and your kids. And grandkids, hope all is well. Okay, so there we go. Okay, this stamp block is not in the store. We have other stamp blocks in the store though. We have this big one that's in the store. This one and the Simon Hurley ones are in the store. So this one is like you just kind of put your stamp on here if it's a larger stamp and stamp. So this one is actually on this in the, the Tonic Studio stamp, large stamp. Stamping block, I should say. Okay, so see you got three different shapes on there. Let's see what we can put together. Now to find a cute, cute paper. Um, I do have some scraps here, so I'm going to use some of my leftovers. Some leftover Someone says paper. There a lot of Janice Turner's on the Facebook group. How, how do we know which one you are? Hmm. Oh, so she is she in there? I think she, she's in there. That's what I thought. Yeah, Janice is in there. Yes. So Janice, when next time you're in there, just say, I am the <laughs> put the in all caps. From YouTube. Janice <laughs> From YouTube. I Janice think I said I said Janice. I have a glamour picture. That's how you should know. <laughs> ah, I'm the one in the glamorous photo. <laughs> I lie under the stars. So I'm thinking pink with a yellow butterfly, possibly. Yeah, Peggy Laurie. Pink with a yellow butterfly would be cute. Well, Peggy's profitable pieces, but actually it's Peggy Laurie now. But it'll go back. She goes back and forth. Look at this. Google Assistant is starting to mess with me. Like they like. I didn't ask you nothing, Google. Oh, you need your Look how charger. adorable that is. Look how adorable that is. You see what I'm saying, y'all? 
<laughs> Two hours later, you need your charger. Let's get another paper that I have. Look how cute this is. That's cute. Huh. That is cute. I have to use this one, y'all. Look how pretty that is. That is cute. See, this is one of those crafts that is truly mindless and I think that's why I like it and the other thing is I think what merely makes me really makes me happy about doing stuff like this is that I'm using something that you know most of us just kind of throw away you know so I like using things that used to be something you know Tracy, Victoria's birthday Victoria Hubbard her birthday is tomorrow oh happy birthday to you. Jules Scalum just woke up in New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. Pam Smith says this is her second live, but, but she's watched for a while. They seem to be a friendly bunch. We are a friendly bunch, okay? A very supportive bunch and I uh, like family. Uh, I don't think we said anything about a birthday party next Thursday. Someone says, when next Thursday we come on. Huh? I, I didn't hear you, babe. A birthday party. Thursday. Thursday? She's like, I'll be in the Bahamas. <laughs> That would be nice. Okay, so nobody's going to know that that little line is there. Watch, crap someone or the crafting crafting police, police is will looking know, right? for that. Crafting police will There's know. Line. How dare she cut the two papers to... You'll never find this little line. <laughs> See, I'm covered up. The cover up, y'all. The cover up. Okay, let's do one more. Let's get something a little bit different color. Let's see. What else I have? Someone says a mindless crafting birthday party. Mindless crafting birthday party. Rhonda Higgins says, when is Art Glitter Glue coming back to the store? It's a little warm. When it's consistently warm, yeah. We'll definitely have that back in the store. Look at your girl Trey. Y'all girl Trey. Rhonda Hagen says she's almost out and it's $23 on Amazon. The problem, Rhonda, is if they mail it, mail it to you and it's cold, when you get it, it's not going to be no good. You can't ship it below 40 degrees or destroy it. Where it is, yeah, where it's going. Or I should say in transit. So right? in the warmer months, when you're coming out Where does France, Rhonda live? Heading into uh, into uh, fall, you make sure you stocked up for the winter. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I make sure I'm spring. stocked up. Yeah, we're hoping to start <coughs> having it back in the store around April because I would I would hate to ship stuff to y'all and then it it's no good, you know. Mommy Bird, she's almost in a panic too because her glitter, her glitter glue is almost out. Look, I have several large bottles, okay? Um, Kathy's 
No, it's uh, June Scollum says, are your eyes okay now? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. She's I still, um, I, like, I still go to the doctor to make sure that nothing has detached. And I know when my eyes are getting tired, like, to just draw back, you know? So, yeah. Eyes are doing good. Because remember, that was last May when all of that happened with my eyes. Susan Lee says, you can use slightly thinned white glue in your art glitter bottle to tie you over. Okay, Bill, so you have to keep me on time, babe. You have to keep track of the time for me, okay? Oh, Janice. All right, babe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep track of the time. Oh, it is. We have appointment with our accountant yeah. this afternoon, so it's, yeah. It's 104. Okay. You're still good. Now you could, if you want, you could also do circles too. So that, you know, you could just do a plain old circle, right? I know you have a circle somewhere in your craft room. So you can do circles of everything, right? So let me go get this. Hmm? Oh, I'm glad, but Rebecca, I'm glad you like the butterflies. Yep. Yeah. That was one of our first stamp sets at the beginning of when we started Mindless Crafting. So the butterflies are about four years old now. Time flies, okay. Nice, June Scala. She said her local um her local shop sells art glitter glue. Nice. She said she asked them to get it. So you're gonna be buying all 500 <laughs> art glitter glues from that shop. Yeah, I think a lot of times if you ask, they'll try to get it. See a little bit of blue in here. Strawberry is knocked out on my foot, okay? On my foot, knocked out. You feel it when on your foot. Yeah, you do, because the circulation has stopped, okay? Creative Cindy says, is it really the best glue ever? Does it warp your paper at all? Does, no. Does a line of it in the center of the paper show? Uh, no. Nope. Yeah. As a bumped area in the paper, does it that may, dry? You you might be using too much. And one of the things you need to do when you, like with art glitter glue, like right now there's no bumps because I don't use like a whole lot to make it clumpy. Right? So if you were to use this, you have to make sure that you kind of keep going. You ever see people like keep going? Don't don't let it lay there. It doesn't don't let it lay there and then not glue down what you're going to glue down quickly. Because you need to put it down and if you have to, spread it out. But I don't put so much glue where it has that bump. I know what you're talking about. Because every so, so often I'm not paying attention 
and leaves that bump. But you could always take something and just kind of smooth it out. It like this right now is completely smooth. And it doesn't warp the paper. Completely smooth. If you don't use too much, right? So I've used um, glue that destroyed paper. Yeah. Try not to use too much of that. You know what? Okay, seriously. I was helping my niece. We were helping our niece to work on a bunch of cards at one time. She had to prepare for a store, right? And uh, we had about five or six different type of glues. Some of them were very generic. We, I, I was in being funny, and I bought Elmer's. Uh, you had some that came from Dollar Tree. I forgot the name of it. And it's, I would have used. I would have brought some of my art glitter glue had I known we were going to be doing it. And when I saw the glue we were using, I was like, mm, it's going to be tough. And, so, and we also had our glitter glue. And and we had some. No, we else. didn't have our glitter, glitter no, we glue there. No, we had just a little at first, remember? And because of that little, having a chance to work with the art glitter glue, we then we ran out. And I went right down the line trying to duplicate the same results I got with the art glitter glue. And I saw firsthand the difference. It was like night and day. Yes. And I think I, I got the same result also with reptile glue. So that's pretty good too. The same result of a good uh, glue. Uh, yes. A good glue. It's yeah. like art glitter almost. I just can't get myself wrap my mind around another glue. I mean, for me, but it's up to you though. I, I just like art glitter glue and I have a bunch of bottles of it, so, so I'll never run out. <laughs> Susan, Susan Lee says sometimes I use a glue stick to spread my wet glue out, not for the extra stickiness, but because I get the results I'm used to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you was to like rub it out, if you don't put too much on there, you know, to start with, and don't let the glue sit, it dries very quickly. And so once you apply art glitter glue and you start to let it dry, if you let it dry, um, if you let it dry before you apply whatever that is, whether it's the paper, the next piece of cardstock on there, it's going to start to give that bubbling effect underneath it. So the thing is to put the glue on and put put the paper down right on it. Diane Solomon says she loves that reptile glue. I found out about it through uh, Bertha Bless Wilson. Plus, I like the name of it. It sounded kind of tough. Sounds kind of tough, huh? Reptile glue. You know what I'm saying? It just sounded like, oh, give me the art glitter. You know what I mean? It sounded cool. So I said, yeah. Bill, what? <laughs> well, I want that one. <laughs> Look how cute that's going to be already, y'all. So that you add to your card. You take this, add it to your card, right? So, the, I mean, you can sit and kind of do this kind of crafting. It's calming, right? So yeah, I'm going to bump this up just a little bit here. Oh, it's all the really glue. Some glues are going to cause bumpiness, warping, all kind of stuff. Putting that off the side here because I want my sentiment over here. All right. Oops. So even if you said, okay, I'm going to do this without adding a sentiment to it, you could do a bunch of these. Then you go back and say, oh, I need a birthday card. Well, you got your sentiment for a birthday card, right? Mm -hmm. Or I need something, a thinking of you. Now you've got your sentiment for thinking of you. Tracy Shepard said, that looks divine, Tracy. And you don't have to do a whole bunch to it, right? Thank you, Tracy Shepard. I appreciate that. Yeah, 
and so I can take something else like one of the other stamp sets and put spring on here right spring I could put life is beautiful I think I'll put that one okay thank you Zoe Bing Zoe Bing says I got my ink pad from Minus Crafting and it works much better ooh, than the Hero Arts oh, what man we're at the, that's a huge compliment it is. wow wow Wow. You know what someone that is a huge compliment, seriously. Because I, I I love um the hero art, arts uh products, but thank you so much. That that means a lot. Seriously. We we try to do the best that we can, you know. Okay, so you see this right here, right? That's this side of that paper. So I'm going to take, take that lighter shade of pink. Uh, let's see, I'm going to stamp it first. I'm going to take that lighter shade of pink. And then I'm going to stamp it out, and that'll be my little message on there. You can see that Oh, I did. It's right here. Oh, good, good. Him. What were you trying to... Go ahead, go ahead, baby. No, go ahead. Put us... When you get a chance. Get no, a I chance. did. I showed him. But okay. go ahead. Show him in the packaging. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something, guys. Seriously. Someone was talking about this. Uh, this block, it was saying they needed uh, what type of acrylic blocks to get and that sort of thing like that. I love this block because it kind of is like an all-purpose. You can grab a hold of it pretty good. And you can set up an entire scene. You can put several stamps on here. And then just once you ink them all up, just kind of thunk and put it on there. You know what I'm saying? So this is a really good tool. I just wanted to show that. Uh, I was thinking about that. Someone That's the, was the one from it. Tonic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really good. I love this. I'll put the link in here just in case someone wants to really look at it. Ooh, I want to round the edges of this. Round this one off. And now you got your sentiment in there. And I think I'm going to let me cut this. I'm going to have to cut this off because I ripped that a little bit and I don't want to throw it away. I ripped it and I don't want to throw it away, y'all. <sighs> what a dilemma. The things, you know. The things. So when you're thinking, okay, I've got a crafting block. I don't want to do like a whole project, but I want to do something. I want to get in my room and do something. You know, even if it's for like 30 minutes, you know, you want to create something beautiful. You can try doing something like this, right? Okay, look how cute that is. Right? Linda Huffman says her favorite go-to tool is, her other favorite go-to tool is Edgers. Yes. Okay, I just put this stamping block link in there, just in case. Thank you so much, uh, Mumbly Bird. She said the ink is usable with any type of marker. Yes. That's the nice thing about our inks also. Our mindless crafting ink. And if you're going to get that, um, we actually just, this actually, we just restocked on this. These sold out along with the, um, get the intense, it's intense black. Get, get these too, cause these sell out pretty quick. So I have people buying like five ink pads at a time and I'm like, oh my goodness. But she didn't, and, but she also got the re-inkers. 
So I thought maybe you'll buy one of these and maybe a few of the re-inkers, but this one must really like our um, ink because she actually ended up buying five of them. And Somebody I was like, oh, my goodness. She probably may have, may have had a group. Yep. Okay, I just put the link to that Minus Crafting ink. That's it wants you in the so store. If you just huge. type in ink in this in that little search box, you'll be able to find all the different ink. Whether it's the re-inkers or the or the intense black. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to this other one. I can always go back and add little jewels to this. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, see wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, question. this would be cute. See, uh, that would be cute on there. That looks like spring. That would be cute. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Those sequins would be cute on there. Let me go ahead and put some. Y'all, I am in my element right now. Okay, Pam Smith says, what is the name of the tool you use now for picking up sequins? And is it in the store? This is not the actually during the pandemic, unfortunately, um, the supplier for these uh, went went out of business. And so I'm looking for another supplier that will have these tools so I can put them back in the store. So just having to, I'm still looking for them, still searching um, to see if there's a supplier that can that can uh, ship them to me and uh, ha have them available at an affordable price, okay? That's the other thing is the prices have uh, skyrocketed too. Linda Huffman says, I think I've had my ink and a re-inker for over a year now and I haven't had to add any ink. Right. These are very juicy. So you don't have to do a whole lot of like pressing down in there, it'll tell you when it's like worn out a little bit. Rhonda Higgins says, I would love to see an intense blue, intense red, and intense purple. Maybe even intense gold. Please. Write that down, babe. Because we have the, the red and the blue we're working on. Um purple and gold. That's that makes a good that's a good idea. Okay, right intense. There. Oops, 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 let me see. So this thing is, this is called a Marvy Jewel Picker. And you can get it on Amazon. Since I can't find it, you can get it on Amazon. And then if they want a border on that, right? Maybe you say, hey, I want to put a little... Um, wow, Karen Reed says, I have many, this. many different brands of ink, and yours is the only one I reach for now. I love it. Ooh, I'm telling you Thank what, you, I'll have to um, relay that to our manufacturer, too, because when he told me um, if we'd be interested in inks, it's kind of one of those things you had to back of your mind, like, not really interested in doing inks. I said, but if I was to have one, you know, as a card maker and crafter, I would want one that would work with alcohol inks and uh, water-based inks. And he was like, I'll, I'll send you some samples and you let me know. He said, we have a new one coming out. And he said, you could test it out. I was like, okay. And I, I think I tested out that thing for months because I was like, Bill, this has to, to work, okay? Look at that. Putting that little bit of pink around the edges, y'all. Look at that. Cute. Well, you can say it maybe even silver. Mmm, y'all getting into some colors there. Pam Smith says, Tracy, why is everything you make so stinking cute? Oh, thank you. Creative, Creative Cindy. We oh, will, I appreciate that. We do have an affiliate link with Amazon. We'll put it in the description at the end of the video. For which, oh, for the um, Amazon. Oh, I appreciate that. For the Marvy Jewel Picker? For the Amazon. The whole oh, okay. Got it, got yeah. you. Burke says she's just simply got tired of having an ink for this one and an ink for that one. And right, and you know what? That was my thing, too. Morning projects, and, and Tracy's ink seems to do away with all of that. You know what? I was telling when, when, um, 
this was the owner of who uh, owns the manufacturing company. And when he reached out to me, well, I reached out to him and we got to talking about it. I said, look, I'm a card maker. So I, I just, Here's all the figuring out alcohol ink, uh, water-based ink, such as, uh, I was like, I just want to something. This, that's to dry relatively fast. And I just wanted last. something that would like, I wouldn't have to think about it, right? Mindless. I want it to be mindless, okay? But it still had to, <laughs> it still had to function at, 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 the, at the optimum uh, level. Right. I didn't want to have to think about all of that. But this with this. this mm -mm. Valerie Meek says, they deliver to the UK. We do deliver to the UK. We sure do. We, we do. We're worldwide. But I always recommend, if you're ordering to, to the UK, see what the shipping is and order to the point where it makes the shipping worthwhile. You know, I wouldn't order like one ink and then the shipping's like by the time you get to customs, $20 or something outrageous. And for those that are ordering do blue. overseas, you might want to consider, uh, what's the name of the company? UHL? Uh, DHL. DHL. It costs just a touch more, but the difference is... You get it really you fast. You get it sometimes in three days. As opposed to waiting weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. If you're going to be paying for the shipping anyway, you might as well get speed with it. That's DHL. How adorable is this? Oh, I'm going to uh, throw a little bit of pink up in here. Uh, uh, Zobane, Zobane, wait, wait, tell, remind me again what you wanted to order and I'll, I'll, I'll get that link in there. Remind me once again, though. And I'll try to put it in now. Y'all, butterflies are my favorite thing. But I, I think y'all know that already, huh? Mummyberg says, also, that ink cleans up off stamps so easily. I have to have special stamp cleaners with my other inks, and yours is just so easy to use. Thank you. Thank now, you, some, sometimes now with um, with some of the with the photopolymer stamp sets, even though the even though the stamp is clean, right? Even though it's clean, it may still look like black, right? Like if you're using the um, our intense black ink, that's okay. That's what photopolymer does. So it, it's not like the ink is still on there. It's clean. But these tend to hold color better, um, if I'm making sense. They hold color better, but when you start to clean them off, even though it looks like it's stained, and that's okay. That's what photopolymer stamp sets do, and that's, that's because they're a higher quality also. But the ink is not on there. It's just that it's clean. It's just that it, you know... It stains. It tends to stain your stamp. So you'll see that. Don't think there's anything you're doing wrong. It, it's it's what it, what happens, you know. Okay, so I'm going to just... Oh, the jewel picker. The Marvy jewel picker. Oh, okay. okay. That's the one that's going to have the Amazon link is what I'll have okay. to... Okay. Yeah. Right, let me see. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this little cutie out okay and of course I gotta get my other favorite tool my white gel pen because I want to now that I'm thinking about let me cut this out first and then I'll do it and make some little dots here And I don't mind cutting off the um, the butterfly antenna. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, y'all, I can't look up at your comments. Okay, I just put the link to that Marvin Jewel picker on there. Yeah, and there's, with the Marvy, there's a double-sided and a single-sided. I like the double-sided one um, because it has, like, those smaller and larger. This side is the smaller one, the larger one. This one is the smaller one. So you can pick up the really little, tiny, tiny things on that one. Juna, Luna Jen says, I don't say Juna Lynn. Luna Jen says, I'm making dinner while watching. Oh, nice. What you having for dinner? Sonia Chris says, look, her inks are not smearing, y'all. <laughs> Rhonda Higgins says, how do you clean the photopolymer stamp sets? I need to clean mine today. All I use, I use a non-scented, this is what I do. Now, if y'all want me to actually get something that you can spray on the stamp, I, I was thinking about uh, getting one and add it to the store. Um, I can get that, but this is what I use. I use these wipes. And they're, I think they're a non-scented, hypoallergenic. It says fresh scent. And I this is all I use to wipe them off, you know. Now, I know there are stamp cleaners, though, too, so... If you want, I can get get a few and and put them in the store. Hi there, Cheryl Hawkins. Left my um. Cheryl says, "Sorry, I haven't been present every live, but I've been sick and have been to the depths and back with my daughter that will be eighteen tomorrow, a fourteen year old." Well, hello the and kids, welcome to this crafting fun. Welcome to Crafting Fun. Luna's making beef stew. Mm. I'll be over. That sounds good. Doing spring. Spring is in the air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flying through the air. Mm. Okay, so let's let's see. Um, this is yellow and like a bluish color. So let's outside here. Uh, let's see. Okay, spray on. Bill, can you write that down? They do want to spray. I saw one. Um, I think it. I think Ranger has one. I'm not sure. I have to go back and do some research on that. Is there a cleaning cloth you suggest with the stamp cleaners? Mm. Put uh, stamp cleaner and cleaning cloth. I would think it would be something that would be lint free. It would have to be a lint free cloth. I would think because you don't want to get. These can pick up stuff, so you don't want to get, um, I would think you wouldn't want to get a cloth that that has lint on it, if that makes sense. Rhonda I don't have any suggestions since I just use the wipes. Rhonda Higgins is asking a really good question, Tracy. She says, why? Why do I have 16 pairs of scissors, okay? I only use one of them. Rhonda, look, <laughs> look, I went how and, many do you all have? Look, I went and got these, right? Look at this. Mm. Of course, Tracy I used to have my cutter bees, okay? But as far as scissors, we have scissors for every And room. so I lost this one, and then I found it. I lost this, bought another scissor, because I like my, you know, We're beaver just... print, right? And then, look. Where's the super duper high power scissors? Look. The Quilting Marine had these um, Tula pink scissors. I haven't, I don't even want to use these. They're so fancy. 
Look how pretty. It reminds me of my pot and pan handles, babe. Mm -hmm. My new pots and pans, right, have this kind of handle on it. Look how pretty. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe that. Like, But I'm afraid to use. These are super sharp. And I'm afraid to use them. <laughs> so they're just like here, okay? We have scissors. The quilted all marine has this them. Room, all in, in the bathroom. Uh in the processing room will be process orders in the garage in the kitchen we, need, we and we need scissors there they're everywhere right susan lee says if i misplace one pair of scissors i have to buy two <laughs> <laughs> then i find the first one again then it starts all over so yeah that's the reason because we need them that's why carmina i have okay carmina says microfiber cloth i've found this Oh, that's a, a good, good idea. Deal. It was like four or five of them in a pack. They were huge. They were large. I love them. For stamp cleaning? Yeah, for whatever. I use them for my glasses. Oh, yeah, those microfibers. Yeah. I don't like the little bitty microfiber things that they use to give you. I've been talking. You ever see that? You need the ones microfiber. The it's not much, even big as this paper right here. You can barely hold them to, to wipe your glass lens. I need something huge, okay? Big, like an undershirt or something. <laughs> I like to know I'm holding on to it. Sarah Johnson. Sarah Johnson says, and the husband keeps borrowing your scissors and losing Ooh, them. when that Call happens. Call Matthew right now. When someone is using your scissors. Matthew, Sarah Johnson is... When y'all, someone is using your there. scissors, you're crafting scissors, y'all. Or they're using one of your markers to just write stuff down, like. Who's what you talking about? Mm. I will say Willis, but I have to say Tracy. What you talking about, Willis? Cindy Roman Ooh, uses do 100% not... damp washcloth to use her to clean her stamps. Do not remove my craft scissors from the craft room. Rebecca's telling Sarah Johnson, divorce him. <laughs> she says she's just joking. Oh, Y'all too funny, okay. <laughs> and then once it leaves, it doesn't get back to the craft room. Imagine that, y'all. Where it just stays. Bobby Verb says, my family knows mm, not to mm, touch mm. my scissors. Hmm. Linda Huffman says, hide the crafting scissors and the markers. The problem is you hide them from yourself. I can't tell me times Tracy is taking something. I'm going to just hide this and put this here to make sure that I never find it again, okay? <laughs> that's what happens, I'm telling you. <sighs> Bill, stop it. You made me mess up my cutting. <laughs> <laughs> he going to make me mess up my cutting, y'all. Y'all too funny. Y'all, for the past three days, I've had the hiccups on and off. It's so irritating. By now, it's off, but I'm afraid to remember. If I Tell remember them what it. your wife did. Tell them what your wife did, okay? She looked up a whole bunch of stuff to do. I looked up some remedies. So I read off the remedies, and one of the, re <laughs> one of the remedies was... Pull your um knees up to your chest. I'm gonna put my knees to my chest. I'm gonna be doing good. Pull people. your pull your knees pull up to your chest. Grab a hold of my knees. Look, okay, let alone Bill them. Bill was on the floor, y'all. I I, I can't even. I couldn't even hardly grab him. Okay? Oh my goodness, hilarious! Can y'all just? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be so flexible. I don't know what happened to me. <sighs> couch, babe, couch. It's so quiet. Uh, Happy Korean says it's those doggone donuts, okay? Uh huh. Blame it on the donut. You can blame it on the donut. <laughs> Look, I think we need to have a donut stamp set. Linda Huffman. Mm, Y'all know. <laughs> See? Bill, please don't tell me to hit, they're not back. Is that one? Was that a hiccup? It could be. It could be psychological. <clears throat> That's it. 
It's not back, is it? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I'm trying not to think about it. There's no way that, that those hiccups are back again. <laughs> Linda said, blame it on the dough. Did the dough... <laughs> Bill, you have got to be kidding me. We 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 lick those. We nip that in the bud. <laughs> oh my goodness, stop. You know, sometimes if I, if I eat rice, I get hiccups. It's like <gasps> Did you eat rice? No. Bill. So being said, my some... husband says to put a brown paper bag on your forehead. I haven't even seen a brown paper bag. Here you go, babe. We got one right here. Oh, you got a bunch of them. Yeah, you. We made a white one. The white one's bigger. It says brown paper bag. Oh, does the color has something to do with it? That's too little. That little thing, right there. You need someone to scare you, babe. You're eating. Here's a scare. You're gonna eat I mean, carrots. You're going to talk to the tax man and just. Some, I know, right? <laughs> no, that's not change. gonna be a scare, babe. That's not what gonna am be. What supposed scared. to do with this little thing right here, Jay? Breathe into it, babe. I can't even put my lips on it. It's so little. I'm gonna squeeze my lips just to get the bag on it. <sighs> Please had a big one. You know what, Susan Lee? I remember that. <laughs> do any of you moms remember the baby getting hiccups before they were born? I remember that. <gasps> My goodness, I cannot believe they're back. My granny used to say hiccups are growing pains. Are you a growing boy? <laughs> he don't need to grow anymore. Mm. <gasps> Bill, go get some water, darling. Mommy says hiccup sign a spasm of the diaphragm. That's what I it's diaphragm related. Take a deep breath and test up your lower stomach. I heard about a person that hiccups for about four years. I I had to kill myself. <gasps> okay. Only during a live, y'all. We had gotten it together and now this man. Look, Ariel said it was from talking too much. That's what Ariel said. I didn't say it. I'm Ariel said it. I'm going to bottle of water and drink the whole thing. About 20 swallows. You act like it's so painful. It, it, uh, I here. think this will look cute like right here, y'all. Nine swallows don't work, Linda Huffman. I need to drink 20. Go get some, babe. Because okay. he will sit here. Just hiccuping like the whole time, y'all. He was at the computer yesterday just having the hiccups. I can't believe those came back. Hmm. <laughs> Only during the live. You gonna have our our um our haters coming after us. I can't believe. That he had the hiccups during a live stream. Mm. <laughs> it's looking good so far, huh? Turn upside down and swallow a spoonful of sugar. Really? Well, this is a conversation. Now we did use the ice chips. Um, Bill, get yourself some uh, chips of ice. Okay. Get the, get the ice chips. We had done the ice chips yesterday, and those worked. Hold your breath and count to ten. That's what I remember growing up. That's what I remember. I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit lower, y'all. Just get down in there so y'all can really see. 
My poor husband with the hiccups coming back again. I was concerned yesterday because he was, we got rid of him and they came back, got rid of him, came back. And then we did the ice chips and that seemed to cure it and him drinking some water. <laughs> Bill went downstairs to get some water, y'all. <laughs> Rhonda, he said, where the haters at? Tracy, you you know I will clown them hard. <laughs> Me and Ariel will get them. <laughs> we'll get them straight. You know, I know y'all will. <laughs> That's why I love the lives, because they're just so natural. This is, you know, this is what happens, you know? Hey. <laughs> I'm trying to read y'all comments and color at the same time. Color in the lines at the same time. Did you, Carmina, you said you're back. You can, you're making breakfast and you can only hear us. Did you hear Bill's hiccups? He's downstairs getting some water. Don't get any snacks, babe. Just get the water. <laughs> this flower paste. Wait a minute. Okay, so lying under the stars. Let me go back and read yours. I would hold my breath and count to 10 and it didn't work. So then I added drinking a few swallows of water without letting my breath out first. It worked, it worked every time. Okay. It's gone. Oh, what'd you do? I ate a piece of, of shots of candy. <laughs> Bill, what did you really do? I, I just what I did. Oh, someone and suggested it? No, I just felt like eating it. Uh, some, for some reason, the chewing motion, because it's one of those candies in the heart box that Ariel had. Chewing. So you ate Ariel's like I was Valentine chewing candy. and breathing, and it did something. I don't know. It worked, so. But I have water and I have ice with me, just in case. Mm, mm, mm. Spring is here, spring is here, spring is in the air, flowers I think that would do something, Cindy. Birds <laughs> are looming. Cindy Rom says, put a teaspoon of water in your mouth and sit on the stove until it boils. <laughs> this cures everything. Wait a minute. I, wait, are you saying, <laughs> Cindy? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I'm not even going that, that's hilarious I okay. did Rhonda, Rhonda I am not lying I did eat some candy you ate some of Ariel's Valentine candy I'm telling you I, it, it's like it, it, it took me a while to chew it up mm -hmm. and the chewing motion while I was breathing it's like I was trying to chew and I can't explain it, but anyway, it worked, huh? Yeah. You just came with your own remedy. <laughs> Anything to get sugar in them, huh? Kara Reed says hiccups are caused from eating excessive amounts of donuts. That was days ago. <laughs> Ronnie Higgins, time. welcome back, Willy Wonka. <laughs> That's why I love these lives because y'all are just hilarious. Okay. Always something unrehearsed happening on here. So when you're fussy cutting, okay, I notice sometimes you'll cut and have the white outline, but sometimes you'll cut it and it where it's right next to the black where there's nothing. 
You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why? Is there a different reason why? You, it just depends on how you feel. Because I want to. That's it. <laughs> sometimes I want to cut on the line. Sometimes <laughs> I don't. Vicky Jensen says, I like that remedy. That was a good one. Eat chocolate, huh? Don't try this at home, y'all. Don't Fred try Cindy that. Cindy says, okay, back to the donut stamp set. We have one stamp set that has the donuts on it. Remember that, Patrice? Yeah. Um, I can't think of the name of it. It's the coffee. Uh, that was a good one. Oh. I coffee. actually like that. Coffee and donut stamp set. You see the coffee and donuts, the coffee Yeah, but I mean like one that has all kinds of donuts on it. Like. I know what you're saying. Yeah, like something that just, like larger donuts. You know what's really good sometimes? I, I spent a, years for, since I had them, but plain donuts that you dip in the coffee, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, just a right, yeah, yeah. Those are good. Yes, because it takes the, the whatever you have in the coffee is what brings the donut to life. You know? mm -hmm. If you just eat the donut by itself, it's pretty like, ugh, whatever. Here's the difference. Cindy Piper says dilute one drop of peppermint oil in a bit of coconut oil and put it on the roof of your mouth. I had to go to the store to get all that. <laughs> I tried, I've been hiccup up to in. death. So they've been like, what's wrong with this man? I had to come running down the house. Please. Peppermint oil. Maybe I should get that in advance to have it. I mean... You were like hiccuping the whole night from what Ariel was telling me. Um, because she was like, You still hiccuping? I went to bed early. But she said she went downstairs. You were you had to hiccup. She heard you hiccuping, and then the next morning you were still hiccuping in the morning. Well, and then that's why I was like, Bill, you gotta do something. Like that's not normal. Uh, my husband will ignore his health until I fuss about it. Yeah, because she when she even fusses, she hus fusses so bad. I'm fussing I'll for do your anything to stop it. Well, I'm fussing for your health, so. The make so, yeah. says we should hump put humpers on the flowers. Hmm. Dimensionalize. Yeah. Yep. There they go. Yep. Luna Jan loves hot sauce. I do too, Luna. I, I used to get uh. The Louisiana hot sauce. There's a difference, believe me. That Louisiana hot sauce, buddy. Tracy had some hot sauce one time. She says, I only get one drop. It's really hot. It's called insanity. Ah, the whatever. And me not listening. That's because you were trying to prove I how, man, that hot how sauce manly you were. Look, y'all, he was trying to. I should have known before we were married. Because you know how you could smell the hotness. Now, anyone who, who can smell hotness, they understand what I'm saying. That was that hot sauce from the Caribbean, okay? I took a bite of whatever it is. I, have. I think we eat tacos or something. <laughs> the thing was so hot that tears started rolling down my face involuntarily. It just, I couldn't even continue. It was just, my mouth was just on fire. I, I tried everything, milk, whatever, just to get the hotness out. It took at least about 45 minutes, kind of. Calm down. So next time, if your wife or husband says, this is hot, please listen to him. Mm. Then his please husband please says, please listen to him. Get it checked out. Her dad had to have esophagus surgery. What? We can't harbor him or swallow. But the hiccups? Hold on, Hame Karan says there's a hot sauce called Death by Salsa. Mm. Oh, Diamond, my nephew had us eating some kind of chip. Remember I that? didn't eat that because I knew. It was mm -mm. a chip that was supposed to be so hot. And I tried it. Everybody was doing it. Matter of fact, they were doing like this test that was on hip. That yeah, challenge thing. I don't know why people do that and put themselves to. I mean, I've seen people almost be ready to pass out because they couldn't breathe. Remember they do a cinnamon, a mouthful of cinnamon or something? Oh, yes. Okay, Cheryl Hawkins says next time get cream cheese. Cream cheese will kill the, the heat a thousand times better than milk or bread. Cream cheese for what? If oh, you for happen to, to eat hot something sauce? salt, yeah, like hot sauce. He was trying to be macho, okay. 
What? Luna Jean says, do you know that the Insanity sauce bottle has printed on it that you can use it to remove tar? Mm, so That imagine. should be a hint right there. Hold up. Did y'all know that when I was in the military, we used Kool-Aid to clean pipes? What? Yes. Mm. The Kool-Aid is so strong, it, it actually cleans pipes. Mm. Imagine the pipes on a ship. You can understand what I'm saying. That is like... Now, that's insane. That's insanity. Okay. Kool-Aid. Huh. The helper says, the sweet feeling of Twinkies can kill the heat, too. The heat, too. Mm. <laughs> that seems like a better uh, yes, solution, huh? Barbara Cook says, is the butterfly stamp said in the store? It is. Let me go find it. Uh, yeah. It's starting to pick back up only because spring... Um, spring is around the corner. So anything with flowers on it is starting to pick up again. But yeah, that one, this is one, one of the ones that this we... This is a good we, one. This is probably one of our more popular uh, stamps that has really stood the test of time and people just absolutely love this one. So we haven't retired it yet. A lot of stamps, we're getting ready to retire because I'm getting ready to really crank out some stamp sets coming up. Yeah, we're getting ready to release a whole bunch of new so a lot of we, stamp sets so if you don't have something you better um, get it now for yeah, get it. Piece because a lot of these days you're never going to see it again so just so we can move on to something new yeah we won't be replacing it I, look how cute that is i just is, put the link to that spread your wings butterfly stamp set it's photopolymer tracy yeah. x looks very cute actually Oh, see, says that's that guy's running. Right <laughs> see, we can't say stuff like that. We have to get rid of any adjectives. Don't say it actually. Just, Tracy, that looks cute. Well, thank Just state you, darling. As a matter of fact. Thank you, darling. Anything to even question? Actually. <laughs> oh, so you're saying the other ones didn't look cute? <laughs> oh, the other 173 that I did? <laughs> what are you yeah. saying? <laughs> Shay, you know what I'm talking about. They don't know what you're talking about. Shay, those pants look pretty good on you. Oh, my other pants didn't look good. <laughs> Are you saying I'm fat? <laughs> yeah, I gotta stop. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't just state it out right, just don't say it. Do no, I know my pants it. look good, so I'm good, babe. My pants look good. <clears throat> this is a cute one, too. This lovely spring. The lovely spring one. Karen so. Reed says, how about, how, that's an interesting thing, Karen Reed. Karen Reed says, how about making them digital before retiring them? Now, that's a good idea, Karen Reed. You know what? I thought about that. That is a very well, that's good idea. The, and that's a good, see? Carol Reed. Carol Reed, thank you. She um she confirmed it, huh? Retired them the digital. That way y'all can resize. You can resize them and stuff. I'm gonna color this a brown color. Cheryl Hawkins says, "Look, I'm behind. Okay, I gotta try to get the steps as you'll be taking off." I haven't gotten to use them, but I'm dying to try. Yeah, that's one of our goals this year is to retire uh, many of the stamps and get in the um, get Fantasy. in some of the new stuff that we've got uh, in store for y'all. Edo says I should see an endocrinologist to discover the cause of the hiccups. I mean, he just got them. It's not like like he's like he gets them all yeah, the time. Just this him. just happened. Oh, guillotine said something. Let me go back. It's, terrible. it's like I've been having them. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, just this past day or two. Oh, guillotine says my sister Jeannie still has COVID, and I'm so glad you're alive. Do you know when the next minor scrapping event that would be? I can't wait. That's a good question. That was hilarious. I, that, that, that was so funny. We don't have them as often as we used to. We used to have them a lot because of the, because COVID is just hitting and people couldn't do anything. We're locked up. They wouldn't even put on clothes. They would just walk around in pajamas. In their pajamas. <laughs> so we said, look, come to the party in your pajamas. 
Right. Okay. And let's have a good time. It was our way of just being able to get together without having to go out, you know? But now people are just making themselves go out. I don't even see people in their pajamas out. You ever see that? Walmart people walking around in pajamas. They just don't even care. Shoes with uh, with uh, lions on them. On, on, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what you want. You're talking about like big bear slippers or something? Rollers with scarves and stuff. They don't care. They look, <laughs> whatever. I am not changing clothes. <sighs> no, and I can't go nowhere. Whatever. Oh, Margie was wearing her loungers, Deb. See? Deb right. She says, what was Margie wearing while we were Lounger. La Lounger is... Uh, Yes, she was wearing Marge, a lounger. Margie does great coupon. <laughs> I am in. I don't I'm wear going to lounge. I use loungers. Y'all are funny. Luna Jensen says, "Y'all do not want to see my hair. Medusa would be envious." <laughs> <laughs> Luna, I can really visualize that. Okay, <laughs> y'all are funny. Trust me when I tell you this. <sighs> You see the commercial, it's like they like say, hey, Luna. And, and Luna looks up and just, ah, color command. Remember that commercial, the color command? Mm -mm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, apparently, the person, that's way over my head, okay. Well, they know what I'm talking about. You're like, no, we don't, Bill. What? <laughs> Mug Media said, do you know that people showed up in my house the night of the minus crafting what? at 11.55 and they would not leave. Mm. I was mad. I would have been mad. I'd been to get out. Really? Y'all mindless get crafting out. like that. We either get this crafting right here and y'all gonna watch this we had a if y'all wanna stay through it. We had a good old time. I need to go back and rewatch it because we had a really good time. What is that going past that? It looks like it's a delivery truck. It looked like a wonder. Uh, a wonder truck, wonder bread truck. Oh, did it? It ain't no. Let's back it up. Now look, look right there. Oh, it's FedEx, man. What they want? Yep, they pulling up in front of our house. Okay, let's see what they come up with. If it's big or little. <laughs> Janice Turner says, Tracy, don't forget about your appointment. Just letting you remember. Thank you so much. Look at y'all. That's true. When you, that's true. We forgot. Bill said he. Bill was going to keep track. You know, but. You see where that went, huh? Hey, just talking with Tracy, with Crystal. Did you just come on? Hmm? Just talking with Crystal. Did you just come on? Just to type in yes or no. Oh, thank you. Just talking with Crystal. Just tell me yes or no. That's all I need to know. Must have been a small package because she left quickly. Okay. I didn't see her get out. She might have threw it at the door. Okay. <laughs> just talking with Crystal just came on. Well, guess what? Just talking with Crystal. You're one of the winners. Just talking with Crystal. From uh by putting in your favorite uh childhood crafts. So make sure childhood crafts. Your favorite, uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Childhood song. Yeah, that. From my from the night at mine is crafting. So we had four winners. We had Joy Overstreet, just talking with Crystal, Gwendalia Balandrin, and Jean Unra. Mm. So make sure you email us at admin at minuscrafting dot com your uh, information. Your actual name, put your screen name, just talking with Crystal, your actual name and your address. Because I can't really mail it. Mail it to just talking with Crystal. And, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just let us know <laughs> so we can. So we can mail out your stuff to you. See, I've even cut this right here. Cut up. You know what? I'm going to do that. Just going to do it. Yeah, but I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat something. I feel it. I had an apple. That's it. Mm. 
It'll take the ice cream truck or the food truck for him to go get it, huh? <laughs> Y'all are funny. I remember when the ice cream truck used to come down the street. Ice cream! I don't, I don't remember any truck sounding like that. Ice cream! Babe, go get yourself something. It didn't hardly cost nothing either. Like what, what, what time is it? 25 cents or something. What now, you need $5 to get something, okay? I don't even see an ice cream truck, tell you the truth. No, I don't either. They see everywhere in <laughs> ice cream trucks, people on bicycles with, with, with things in the front. Yeah, I don't really see them either. What time is it, babe? It is 204. It's time to get off because we got to get ready and drive over there. I'm going to the count in my pajamas. Oh, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, the counter will throw you out. Here, call security. Security! Get them out. Oh, boy, y'all this funny. is one time you can call the the uh, accountant police, okay? Run down and get yourself something, babe. Okay. I can feel it. The weakness coming. <clears throat> All right. What? Katie May says Eli is on here watching. Hey, Eli. Eli. Eli, I saw you on this movie. What was that movie with it? He was blind. Okay, y'all, I'm almost done. With, uh, what's his name? What's your guy's name? Denzel. Why Eli, did you, did you see Denzel guy? and Eli in the movie? The movie. Well, he was, oh, he tore him up, buddy. Hmm. Okay, like let me this go right with, here. Uh, I gotta eat something. I actually have to remind my husband to eat and to actually listen to his body because he'll keep going and not stop until he starts to feel his blood sugar dropping, right? Yeah, so I'm just making the embellishments uh, for a card. Just some easy crafting, y'all. See that? Look at that. See what that looks like. That looks pretty cute. I'm going to do all the sides, though. So. How cute is that? Look how adorable these are. These are going to look so cute on the card. Will, will that uh, Dexcom or Freestyle Libra, Linda, will that like tell him uh, when his um, sugar is dropping? I may have to have him. I may have to just go to the appointment with him and just say, I want to sit in the room because he doesn't tell me like everything. And then when I start asking questions, um, he's like, oh, I'm not sure about that. So I need to be in the room. I will be there with a notebook. Uh, hello, can I record this? <laughs> so he went to his last few appointments by himself. But it uh, looks like wifey may have to be up in numbers appointments because um, they did some medicine changes that, you know, I didn't really agree with. Oh, it has an alarm. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and look. What is it called? Dexcom. I'm going to write that down. Dexcom. I'm going to have to ask about that. Do some research. and uh, Because he just does not, you know, like, Bill, why do you wait until you're like, uh, let's see, Dexcom. He waits until he's like weak, you know, like, don't do that. Let's see, Dexcom or or Freestyle. Okay, it's two different things. Okay. 
pre-star Libra. Okay, got it. That's why I love our crafty family. I'll be getting on him though, y'all. Yes, Cheryl Hawkins. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to just go with him. Because I, I used to go with him. And then he was like, no, I can go by myself. But then on the way back, mm, he stops to get certain things like, <laughs> like donuts. Okay. Okay, so I think some of these flowers would be cute. With the glossy accents. What do y'all think? Let's see. My glossy accents are not acting right. Hmm. Oh, I'm curious about the winners and what crafty things they'll be getting. Well, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be any combination of, it could be a combination of paper, gems, um, flowers, ribbon. Oh my goodness. It's going to, yeah. Ink, you know, so it's going to be, it's a variety of stuff. Just a whole bunch of, just like happy mail. Like you're not sure what's going to be in it. Boy, my thing is not working. My glossy accent. I'll have to do something with that later. Because right now it's not working the way I want. Mumbleberg, you said you never win anything. <laughs> Okay, this one is working. Okay, so I'm just going to, just to give this some of the flowers a dimension, I think it'll be really cute, right? Look at that. How cute is that? And right in the center of that. And maybe like right along here. So just think of these as little pieces of artwork that you're going to add to a card later on. So you can have a ton of these that you make. And then later on, you just add them to your cards. And sometimes some people don't want to think like big, like make a whole card. They just want to make something. This is this is the something. So then you can just make something that's not too not too much. But it's still beautiful. How cute. Yeah, I usually read the uh, Cheryl Hawkins. Um, you were saying that he went to the doctor by himself. Yeah, I usually read like the um, whatever they send in the mail, they send like all the results and stuff. So I pretty much know just about everything that Bill does, or even all the medicines and stuff, which it's, it's, it's quite a bit. I'm not comfortable with the amount of medicine that he takes. Um, but, um, because of diabetes and, um, Sometimes he gets a little bit, uh, how do you say, the antsy with me because I kind of get on him about his eating and stuff. And you know what these numbers do to you, you know. You know what this number means when it gets this high. So, yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be showing up. Okay. Type two. He's type 2 diabetes. 
has type two and it landed him in the hospital a couple of years ago. So yeah, he just has to be careful. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I appreciate that. You love these little creations. Yeah, they're just so adorable. Let me see. Y'all hear the birds out there? Okay, so just around here. Bill went to go get something to eat, y'all, because he was not feeling like his self, okay? So I try to keep lots of fruit, something he could grab real quick. Fruit, yogurt. Um, just little snack-like things that he can. I have to take medicine every day, Tracy, and eating is really important to make sure the side effects don't get out of hand. Be careful with your health. Exactly, yep. Oh, happy anniversary, Cindy. She said, running behind 49th anniversary and hubby and I just went out to get dirt. Oh, dirt from the garden to get tested by the county. On your anniversary? <laughs> Y'all too funny. Can't read. Shamar is lurking. He better take care. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I usually get on him. Um... But sometimes that can be a little bit stressful, trying to get on him about making sure that he is doing right and taking his medicines on time and, you know, at the right time. So you, I've been pestering him, y'all. He'll tell you. <laughs> I pester him, and I don't get tired of doing it. Okay. okay just a few more things. I'm going to put stitching on this, y'all. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. How cute is that? And then my micron pen. Yeah, I didn't take Bill grocery shopping with me the other day. And came back with a whole lot of fruits and veggies and just a lot of healthy stuff. The little, it's the little details on these. It, it really makes a difference. Just those little details. Okay, let's see. I got some little teeny gems that I want to put on here. Let's get those. As soon as I get to the Facebook group, I want to send you happy mail. Smiles. Oh, you're saying that's Cheryl H. Smiles and hearts. That is so sweet. <laughs> Luna, you said it's looked like a your stitching looked like a drunk tried to do that. <laughs> you just got to take your time. Just take your time. No rush. Oh, I'm use I'm thinking this is my glue. Okay, so just one more thing. Get these teeny tiny. And let's see what color I want. Let's do the pink ones. I love pink. Oops. 
these little ones you gotta not use so much you don't need a whole lot of glue for these to stick let's see Bill you okay babe let me move this out of the way I keep thinking that's my that is way too much glue y'all don't do that Mumbleberg, what is your name inside of the group? That way they'll know who to contact. I feel like I need something right here. A little something right there. Let's see. Hmm. You know what? You see this little cluster of, see that little cluster of flowers right there? That's what it needs. Little cluster of flowers. That's what it needs. And then we're done. Oh, Janice, you said you like, you love blue and black and green. Okay. Those are your favorite colors. Okay. So these little cuties right here. I'm going to color that in. I'm going to drop it right in there. For some reason, I feel like it needs... Just that little added extra. Sorry, y'all. Bill went downstairs. Okay, let's see. We'll do that in yellow. It's these little tiny added things. <laughs> You're staring at my pen so I won't lose it, huh? You know, I need to just go ahead and put it in here. <laughs> okay, this is my last thing I'm going to add on here because we got to go to the accountant, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Janice. Yeah, he's about 15 minutes away from us, so. So sunny out. I might have to take my sneakers so I can. I have to see how Bill is feeling. Maybe we'll go walking. We do need to take the car to get it washed, too. That's our thing we love to do together, wash the car. I know, right? We we take it <laughs> we take it to this uh local car wash place and you pay a certain amount a month. Um and you can uh wash the car as many times as you want. You just go right through the um the car wash machine or whatever it's called. That's perfect. That's what it needed. Look at that, y'all. That is what it needed. My husband's having a whole meal down there. He's having a whole meal. Oh, goodness. That's cute. Wait a minute, y'all. 
wait, wait one moment. Wait one moment. Look at this. Yellow one in there. Pink one in there. Pink one in there. Okay. It's look at everything. Look, if you start the process, everything will line up the way you want it to. You just have to start, right? So I didn't know that this is what these um, embellishments were going to look like when I first started. But I just started the process and enjoyed the process. And this is what happened. So I'm just being careful because, you know, it has to dry. So let's see what time we got on here. Man, there's 190 of you watching? Nice. And we've been on for a minute, huh? It is now 2.24. Okay. So I guess Bill's not coming back up. Bill! Bill, you okay? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... and uh, <laughs> I thought you were coming back up. All right, y'all. So from cereal box, from stovetop savory stuffing box to embellishments. How adorable are these? I don't think they need anything else on them. They don't need not another thing. Perfect the way they are. Perfect. Look at that. And I had fun making them. Look at that. So, yeah, he's downstairs eating. He's not going to make his way back up here. But this was fun. I hope y'all were inspired. If you got those boxes, I was going to say don't throw them away. Okay? <laughs> don't throw them away. Make some embellishments, right, for your cards. Take your Go through your stamps, right? Go through your stamps, see what you have, and just... Go for it. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the week. Take care of yourself. I will be sure to take care of Bill. And I'm about to get ready to go to some of them appointments with him, some of those doctor's appointments, because I don't feel like I have the whole story. You know? So I'm going to be going to the appointments with him. He's not going to like it, but I'm, hey, I'm going. <laughs> All right, y'all, take care. Love you all. And don't forget to take care of yourselves. And we'll see you next week. Bye.